men who cheat do this. Look, if you don't know the red flags of a cheating man, you may be wasting your time, being disrespected, and at the end of the day, giving the wrong man the benefit of the doubt. In this video, I reveal five hidden signs that your man could be cheating on you. Hi, I'm Antje Boyd, and I help women to attract and keep the man they want. If you never want to date a cheating man, comment no cheaters in the comments. If you like what I wear, you like my earrings or anything else about this video, including the content, please like this video, share it with all of your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. So let's get right to these signs because you want to never date a man who's cheating on you. Number five, the attention trap. Look, girlfriend, what of course happens when he cheats on you is because he is feeling guilty. So what ends up happening is he will want to overcompensate for it. He wants to make up for it, which oftentimes translates into him actually giving you more attention. This, of course, means more roses, more phone calls, more compliments, just more. You see, something about that is wrong, though, because if you feel like, well, he normally doesn't make me that many compliments and he normally doesn't bring me roses home, right? There's just something about like, do you feel guilty? I don't know if you watch some of those TV shows where, where even women say that sometimes when the man comes home and cooks her her favorite meal, right? And and then she's like, are you in trouble? What did you do? What did you have? What do you have to deliver to me? Because everyone knows, even little kids do that, right? They try to make up, they try to clean the house because they got themselves into big trouble. So we know that as well. So if you get to this kind of sign, like there is a chance that it could be cheating on you. So it's your turn to comment below and let me know, has this happened to you? you. Number four, something is off. You know, there is this quote that says, if a woman feels something is not right, something is not right. We have this instinct inside of ourselves, which of course is also evolutionary. For one, we needed to know the difference of the different cries of a baby. We also needed to know the difference of certain berries we can eat versus the ones that are poisonous because otherwise the whole tribe would be eliminated or our babies would simply die. So if you feel something is really off, something is not right, there's just this air of mistrust that starts to build around you, chances are there is something off. Look, there's all this research, and I know this is going to be a little bit intense, but of a lot of like abduction victims and rape victims. And what actually happened is that all the victims got the sense before they went into the truck or before they followed the man home or whatever the case may be, that something is just a little bit off. The problem was that they then actually overrode it and gave them ben the benefit of the doubt instead of trusting their evolutionary instinct. That's really how deep it is. It's evolutionary. It's so intelligent. So trust it, girlfriend. Number three, he gaslights you. Yes, you heard me right. When he cheats on you, he will actually accuse you of you cheating on him. Brilliant. Just think about it because it's totally distracting from him cheating on you. I mean, it's so great. It's basically saying attack is the best defense. It's, it's like, it's brilliant, except that you can, of course, see that, right? If you know, okay, hold on a second. I haven't talked to a man in a while. I haven't done all those things in a while. And I've oftentimes clients come to me who tell me stories like that where the man has actually accused them of cheating and has actually wanted to see the text messages that they received from maybe co-workers or other people and there was literally no reason because it was the same kind of messages that she was receiving before but yet now he starts to make a big deal out of it. By the way, 
This also comes from a psychological principle called projection. What happens here is if we have a quality inside of ourselves that we don't want to embody, if we don't want to see inside of ourselves, let's say there is a quality of, let's say, jealousy. And you don't want to see that because you don't want to be feeling insecure or inadequate. What you then do is you project it onto the man. So you're actually saying the man is jealous. So the same is happening here in the gaslighting. So he is actually, this is going back to the conscience a little bit too. He has such a conscience around that what he shouldn't do that he's like projecting it out so he doesn't have to be with it. Can you imagine how comfortable it is if you're cheating on your partner? Exactly. So let me know in the comment section if this has happened below, if this has happened, if, if your man has actually doubted you when there was no reason to doubt, if he out of the sudden became jealous, when he never was jealous before, when he out of the sudden wanted to see your text messages, even though he was never controlling before, girlfriend, chances are he is cheating on you. Number two, he is just a little bit inconsistent. He's just not coming home at the same time. Or maybe he used to text you every day or maybe twice a day or maybe he would call you once a day and now he's not checking in with you maybe for a couple of days. There's something that starts to become inconsistent. The same is true for his body language. Just watch, is he still sitting right across from you or does he now need to start to turn a little bit? Can he hold eye contact? Is his voice starting to break? Uh, it, does it just feel like there's a little bit of hesitation when he talks, right? Like you can really pick up inconsistency in many different ways. You can pick it up energetically, like I said before, right? You can just really see it. You can feel it. Um, you can definitely pick it up emotionally. You can feel if a man is really engaged with you or if a man is like basically almost like unavailable emotionally. He's just like not giving you the same emotional attention and affection that he used to give you. I would keep an eye on that. And again, let me know in a comment section if inconsistency has occurred in, even in your current partnership or maybe someone you've dated in the past. And finally, number one, is he just a little bit absent? Now, with absent, I mean even when you're intimate with him like do you feel like his mind is just somewhere else or you're on a trip together where you actually spend beautiful quality time together but for some reason you just don't feel like he's really connecting with you or maybe he just needs more privacy than he usually does maybe he wants to go to bed earlier or maybe in the middle of the night he just wants to check uh, his work emails, but something about it is just a little bit absent. And this is a true story. This has happened to one of my clients. Like he started to be really absent. And then of course, turned out that he indeed was cheating on her. But of course, what she did instead was giving him the benefit of the doubt. So comment below if this has been the case for you. Let's stop giving cheaters the benefit of the doubt. So let me know in the comment section, have you ever dated a man who has shown any of these signs or are you even dating a man right now who is showing any of these signs? So again, if you enjoyed this video, then please share it with all of your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.